In its first few years of existence, the Radio Code achieved a level of popularity among enthusiasts unseen since the early days of the Gamma Scout. Based in Cyprus, the company is actively working on upgrade and will answer your questions, help with troubleshooting, and ship anywhere fast. The recent success of the Radio Code can be attributed, I think, to the many features and sensitivity available on all models and the ability to collect the spectrum on the go. Being able to ID radioisotopes from a source brings a tremendous appeal to many who simply cannot afford expensive and complicated equipment. The compact design and battery longevity have proven to be very valuable in the field. I am perfectly satisfied with my Radio Code 101, but since I was asked to take a look at the latest 103 model, I was more than happy to oblige. There's already plenty of reviews on YouTube, some better than others, and I've already covered some of its advantages and limitations in previous videos. The 103G has just been released and with a different crystal, it promises an even better resolution. So why do this review? Three reasons. One, sorry, but an unboxing video is not a review. Two, I may have access to a more targeted audience and market that could benefit from this device. And three, with a more exotic range of isotope and radiation field, I should be able to push this meter to its limit. But enough bloviating, let's get into it. I managed to open the package without cutting myself, and the radio code works right out of the box. All of the features you've come to expect are still here, and navigating the menu function is just as easy. The main difference of the 103 is the sensitivity. I consistently measured higher level of radiation with the 103 compared to the older 101, while the background remains similar. The 103 uses the same 10x10 cesium iodide crystal, and the higher sensitivity, I am told, is achieved electronically. What does it actually mean? Let's take a look at this 30 second acquisition of this 11 year old 1 micro Curie source of barium 133, specifically the peak at 356 keV here. In the same time it takes to collect the spectrum with the 101, the 103 gather more data and the peak is higher. If we compare each peak at half maximum, the 103 yield a slightly more narrow peak. Why should we care? A higher resolution is beneficial when identifying two peaks close to each other. For example, Cobalt 60 has two main peaks 159 keV apart. If a detector cannot separate them, it may not be able to correctly identify Cobalt 60. Based on Cesium 137, the current maximum dose rate is set to 100 mRM per hour and 50,000 counts per second. This is not usually encountered by the casual user, but an increased maximum may be part of a future upgrade soon. This may be a bit much to ask if the company wanted to expand its market. This could be a selling point for the nuclear industry. For example, this source maxed out the meter fairly quickly, and this big unidentified peak showed up. Unfortunately, manganese 54 is not part of the default library of the radio code Manganese 54 is one of many activation products from neutron capture on iron-rich corrosion product in the core and is not found outside of nuclear reactors. After all, this is a device designed with the general public in mind and low natural radioactivity, but we can fix that. If you haven't done so already, download and install the software and connect your meter. Open the downloaded file in the browser and find the Excel folder named App Isotope here. This is the list of all available isotope in the radio code library. You can add more isotope and energy lines, but keep in mind the resolution will not allow you to ID peak too close to each other. I added the 834.8 keV line for manganese 54. It works in the app, but this is not a great choice, since in this area manganese 54 can be mistaken for actinium 228 at 835 keV which is too close for the small crystal to resolve. 
Now save. Close the browser and open the software. You can view all logged events, spectrum recorded, dose rate, history, etc. Under Spectrum, you can click the setting icon here. And this window pops up. Down here in Isotope Library, select Custom and OK. Now if you open the Spectrum again and navigate to that unknown peak, it is now identified. The same operation can be done on Android phones using the app APK or your PC to open the Radio Code app and navigate to Assets to find the same app isotope that CSV folder and open it in a text format. Update the library and rename the file isotope.csv and there it is, manganese54. The Radio Code software is great but the back money is another one you can use to get a bit more out of your counter and is also free. Link in the description. Basically, this is a program that emphasizes the spectrum review for your data. You can also easily customize your library, perform calibration, make activity measurement, look at region of interest, do a background subtraction, but keep in mind the software communicates with the radio code through Bluetooth only and the counter must be disconnected from the USB or back money will not find it. Radio Code competitor Rayside works the same way with similar features, but with a larger crystal, it performs slightly better and costs about twice as much as the Radio Code. So between the 102 and 103, is the 103 1% full width half max worth the extra $50? For the casual user, no, not really. Just get the 103G or wait for upgrade for an even better sensitivity and accurate design. Overall, I think for the price and what you need it for, all of the Radio Code are worth the money. Radio Code did not sponsor this video. They just sent me some mushrooms from Chernobyl and the 103 for testing. I was initially going to make an omelet, but I used them for the cesium peak calibration instead. Finally, between the higher sensitivity, lightweight portable design, the mapping of hotspots, and the Bluetooth function, I really think the Radio Code could be a valuable tool for radio protection personnel and dose reduction. A higher threshold and a different library on the Pro version could benefit a lot of people in the nuclear industry. Food for thought. Thanks for watching. Damn it!